I'm Ms. Rectastic, and today we're going to draw a beautiful little unicorn. Grab your favorite mark-making mediums and let's make some art. So let's get started on drawing our unicorn. We're going to start on this side of the page towards the upper part on one side. And we're going to draw the head on this side and the body has to go across the page. So that's why you really want to make sure you start drawing on this side of the page. Okay, we're gonna draw the four locks. We're starting with the head first. Curve line, like a very extended U. A few zigzags. And then bring it in. Add a few wavy lines. Now we're gonna draw a horn. So starting over here, a diagonal line up and a diagonal line down. Now to make it look like it's a curve, we add some curving lines in the horn. Next we're gonna draw a teeny tiny unicorn ear with a curved line on the inside. Then we're going to draw some hair. So we're gonna wavy line down. Wavy line across. And then you can add some wavies inside for the different colors. We can also have some more hair coming up this way. And then add some wavies. This unicorn has a lot of hair. Next, a curve line in the front. Then we're gonna bring it around. So bring it up. Now we're gonna draw the face. So add some little hatching lines or tiny little lines there for the snout, nostril, and a little happy face. Nice big curve line up for the eye. And then you can add some little eyelashes. Don't forget to add the pupil, just like that. You can also add cute little things like a little cheek. Maybe you wanna add a couple hearts. Whatever you want. It's your unicorn, so you make it magical. Next, we're gonna draw the chest and one cute little unicorn leg down. Draw the belly. Then we'll do the back leg. and then connect to the top. So all unicorns are going to look different, so your, yours might look a little bit different than mine, and that's what makes all unicorns special. So we do want all our unicorns to look a little different. So if you want to do the hair a little bit different, that's cool. If you want the legs to be different, that's cool as well. We're also going to add a wonderfully magical tail. with some wavy lines. Wonderful. Okay, so we got two more legs to add and then we'll add some final details. We're gonna do a bent line here. 
curve up and in. Then for the back leg, we're gonna start along the belly and it's gonna kind of tuck in behind the front leg, just like that. Perfect. Now we need to add some final details. So on each hoof, we add little hatching lines And then on the hind leg, you can add something cute, whatever you want. So I'm gonna do a crown, but you can add a heart or a star. Draw a cute little symbol on the back leg. So whatever you wanna draw there on the back leg to make it extra cute, you go right ahead and add something super cute there. Okay. Now we're gonna draw a rainbow. So underneath the unicorn, we're gonna draw a rainbow. So we're gonna do one line on that side, one line on this side. Big puffy lines. Perfect. Now we need to do the rainbow, so from one inside corner to the other, we draw a nice arc or curving line. Now we're gonna add more that are parallel to the first. Parallel lines mean that the lines are equal distances apart. And now we're gonna add some texture around. So I want you to add three hearts somewhere on your background. Add three hearts somewhere on your background. Then I want you to add two stars on your background. Add two stars anywhere on your background. Perfect. Now you can add clusters of dots or circles, clusters of dots or circles, and this is just going to add some texture to our background to make our artwork visually interesting. Great. And once you have a background full of texture, you are ready to color. So we're gonna get started on coloring. I'm gonna use felt markers and wax crayons, but you can use whatever you have. I'm just gonna color the background details first with my marker. And I'm also gonna color some fine details on the unicorn. Now for the hair, because you have stripes, you can go ahead and color the hair with whatever colors you want. You can do a pattern, you can make it a rainbow. You can pick whatever colors you want to color your hair. All unicorns look different and they all have different colors of hair, just like people.
So for some lighter colors, I'm gonna to switch to using wax crayon because it will be a little bit lighter than the felt markers. So I'm just gonna switch as I color my unicorn. Next, we're gonna use a yellow and an orange wax crayon to color the horn. An orange and a yellow to color the horn. So I'm gonna do stripes to color the horn. I'll use my pink wax crayon to color that little cheek. And I'm gonna find a blue wax crayon to add. Oops, that's not the right blue. Let's see what I got. This is a nice blue. So I want my eye to be a nice blue, but you can do whatever color you want. Now I'm gonna find like a peach or an apricot colored wax crayon, or you can use like a brown, anything like that. And we're gonna color some details. First, I'm gonna color the hooves. I'm going to color the inner ear and the snout. So I've used, uh, this one's apricot, but if you want it to be something colorful, you can do like purple or blue, whatever you want. You can also use the same color to add shading on the white. You can also use some blue to add some shading. Doesn't that just look magical? So I'm just using a little bit of blue to add some shading on my unicorn. Perfect. Look at how beautiful this is looking. So the more colors we use, the more magical and visually interesting our little unicorn becomes. Ooh, I just had another idea. We could add more visual interest by taking another wax crayon, something bright, and we can add some swirls with line in our background. And that's just gonna add to the visual interest. Finally, we're going to color 
the clouds and the rainbow. Okay, so I'm going to use my blue. I'm gonna shade the bottom first. Then I'll take my gray. color over. Okay, now we're going to paint or color, sorry, the rainbow. So we want to do a red, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue. So my rainbow doesn't have, actually I could probably add one more stripe down here and then I'll have the right amount. So red, I'm gonna find my orange. Use orange. And remember, if your wax crayons are broken, they're still good. Wax crayons are lovely because they're one of the few things that are good even when they're broken. They're good right to the last bit. And sometimes I find they're easier to hold I often break them when they're full because I tend to hold them up higher, but when I have a smaller one, I tend to use it properly. Orange, and now we use yellow, right? Because Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, makes a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Now I don't have enough stripes to do violet, so I'm just gonna go blue and then purple to finish. And just like that, our magical little rainbow unicorns are done. I would love to see your finished unicorn. So make sure that you take a picture and you can share it on social media, but don't forget to tag me at Ms. Artastic. I would love to see your work and share it on my Instagram feed. So either share it on Twitter or Instagram and I will be sure to repost your beautiful, little unicorns. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative high quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.